Hi, this is Dave Garski from GuitarLessonsOrlando.com. I wanted to show you a very common four chord progression today. It starts off with your basic G chord. You can play G however you want to do it, but this way requires these two fingers to be here. Your third and your fourth finger. Some of you play like that, some of you play like this. I've even seen people play like this. We're looking for this chord. Looks familiar. First finger here, second finger, third and fourth. Fairly easy chord. Now the trick about these four chords that I'm going to do, uh, these two are going to, these two fingers, your third and fourth finger are going to stay where they are the entire time through all four of the chords. And we're going to go from this chord, all we're going to do is we're going to move our first and our second finger over to the fourth and fifth string in the same exact frets. So now we have a C add nine chord. That's really all it is, just a C. We're adding the ninth, which is D. So we have G. C add 9. I could probably just play a song just doing that. And not everything has to be in 6 8. You can do it in 4 4 as well. Uh, the next chord is going from the G. Um, some of you play E minor like this. Some of you play E minor like this. What we want to do is we're going to combine the second version of it by going, having those two fingers where they were for the G and the C at 9. And we're going to make the E minor position chord, and now we get E minor 7. All six strings again. Uh, now to go to the fourth uh, chord, we're going to take the first finger off, or you can take your second finger off, doesn't really matter which finger you use. You can, we're looking for the A right here on the second fret of the third string. And we're going to play just the uh, four strings like you would just any regular D chord. So when you combine them, you have a G, C at 9, E minor 7, and a D suspended. Some people call it D suspended 4th, but that's sort of redundancy. Uh, G, C at 9, E minor 7, D suspended. Now the nice thing about this particular progression is that you can do them in any kind of an order. There are some, there are some candy progressions that sound pretty cool, like if you start on a G, and on, and on the D suspended, and just switch to E minor and this or E minor seven and the C at nine. But I'll give you an example of both. Here's the, the first one: the C at nine, E minor seven, D suspended. I'll do it again. Switch the other chords around here. Notice I switched the E minor 7 and C at 9. I'll do it again. Now what's cool is you can do like a chorus or a verse here and just switch it around. Starting on the C at 9, going to the D suspended, go G, then E minor 7, and I'm going to switch it around. Now go back to D suspended, and start all over again. Cool, huh? So those four chords are fairly easy to play. It's the strumming that becomes more or less the dictator of how you're going to come across a song. You play it as a country kind of song or a blues, rock and roll, anything you want to do. Thanks for stopping by. Check out my website at guitarlessonsorlando.com. Thank you.